free the political and religious prisoners in Iran. Following the series of demonstrations in various cities of Europe, on Saturday 8th of February 2014, the International Organization to Preserve Human Rights in Iran performed another demonstration in Germany's capital Berlin in order to defend the rights of political and religious prisoners in Iran. The participating activists in this protest had masks of Mir Hossein Musawi, Zahra Ratnawart and Mehdi Karoubi on their faces. The head of the International Organization to Preserve Human Rights in Iran, Dr. Sayed Mostafa Azmayesh, who also attended this demonstration and was interviewed by Shahram Miryan from Radio Farba, made the following statements. Dr. Azmayesh, the head of the International Organization to Preserve Human Rights in Iran. The main mission of this demonstration is to raise the international awareness about the critical and dire condition of political and religious prisoners in Iran, such as dervishes, human rights activists and lawyers, and specifically Zahra Rahnavard, Mir Hossein Musavi and Mehdi Karoubi, who have been illegally under house arrest for the past three years. Their situations have not been clarified, and their legal case has not been judged fairly. For this reason, it is extremely important for people in the world to know about their inhumane situation. Shahram Miryan from Radio Farda asks, Now that you are participating in this demonstration, what are the conditions of this imprisoned and sick dervishes? Dr. Asmayesh, the head of the International Organization to Preserve Human Rights in Iran, answers, it has been a long time since dervishes have been kept in Tehran and Shiraz prisons and their critical health conditions have been ignored by the authorities. Hamid Reza Moradi, Salvestani and Mostafa Daneshju, lawyers and human rights activists, require urgent surgeries due to being imprisoned for a long time without any health care. However, this has been denied by the judge Salavati. Also, Kasra Nuri's health condition in Shiraz prison is very critical. Families and relatives of these prisoners are under great psychological pressure and this situation is continuing. Shahram Emirian from Radio Fada asks, Are families of these prisoners allowed to visit their loved ones at least once a week? Dr. Azmayesh answers, the prison authorities use this method of not permitting families to visit their loved ones as a torture and are constantly putting them under pressure. These families are being told that if they were to make a complaint against the authorities or to make interviews with any media, they will be forbidden from visitations and even phone calls with their loved ones will not be allowed. By this method, the prisoners and their families are under constant pressure. For these reasons, it is not clear whether families of prisoners are allowed to visit their loved ones or not. Therefore, the members of the International Organization to Preserve Human Rights in Iran will continue to perform such demonstrations in various cities of Europe, Canada and USA in order to keep up awareness against this injustice and against the human rights violations in Iran. Fire at the Kaubi! 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 Fire at the Kaubi!